So today I want to do something just a little bit different with you guys. I want to take a look back at one of the projects we put in, give or take about three months ago. Uh, it's about 100 feet of French drain up by the house, which turns into about, I'd say 200 feet of solid drain uh, all the way out into a field and kind of explain to you guys what we did, why we did it, uh, so on and so forth. So if you take a look here, got my screen pulled up with you guys here. Uh, and what we have is a property where you see I'm standing up on this bank where this picture was taken, where this entire bank wraps all the way off of screen, uh, funneling water all the way down to this low point where unfortunately the house is sitting. Now, fortunately, uh, say fortunately, there is a little bit of slope away from the house. So when they built the house, they did grade this out properly. However, what that's going to end up doing is it creates this low point right in the middle of the front yard, which is exactly what our client called us about. So up until this point, we had not met the homeowner, but they gave us a call, reached out and said, hey, uh, I've got drainage issues, uh, specifically standing water in my front yard. What can you do about it? So what we ended up doing, and forgive me, my voice is going out. Um, I had a cold last week, but do the best I can here. So what we ended up doing is, as you can tell, uh, so we've got a down sloping bank here. It's pushing water down. This bank keeps coming a little bit here. Now, fortunately speaking, like I said, we do have a little bit of a negative uh, slope away from the house. So a little bit of water is gonna get pulled that way, uh, keeping our foundation just dry enough but it's ultimately settling right here in the middle. A little bit coming off that back bank is going to separate here uh, and break off of the back as this does slope away from the house on all sides. But most of it's just kind of settling down here in the front yard. So what we ended up doing, we took our excavator. I am going to drop in a video. We just put this video up on Instagram. So I'm going to drop that in here. That's kind of what sparked this whole idea for the video. Uh, where we dug this entire trench. So we came in with our excavator. Like I said, it's about a, I'd say give or take about 300 feet total, about 200 feet of solid on the end, flowing through the yard and through the driveway with that 100 feet of French drain in the front yard. See that whole trench dug there. So what we did with that excavator is we came in back to this photo and cut a trench running right through that low point we already knew it was graded well, we knew the water and where it was sitting, so there's no point in regrading the whole property and destroying uh, the lawn that we do have established. But we can take that water through this little trench here, um, just back over here, through that little trench, and uh, we did have to cut out across the driveway, however, I'm going to bring that video back up like I was showing you earlier, did have to cut across the driveway. However, not an issue that allows us to run that drain pipe under the driveway once we're finished with it. Uh, turning into solid pipe once we get across the driveway. Let me see if I can switch down. There we go. So we ended up having our trench dug, as I mentioned earlier. And that drain pipe ended up running right through the middle of that trench. It's French drain, so that water settles into the bottom of the trench, into this perforated pipe. Now somewhere about here, this is ultimately our low point uh, of the French drain system. So what we did, we put a drain basin in here. So if there was any surface water that wasn't making it into the French drain or was coming from the driveway, uh, that was going to collect water as well. And ultimately allows us to transition from our French drain here into a solid drain. And that solid drain flows under the driveway and into this trench system. Now we ended up redigging this whole trench uh, deeper than it originally was, but once that transitions, we've got our solid drain pipe under that drain system flowing all the way out the back of the yard. So at the end of the day, that collects all of the water from this bank that the photo was taken on, as well as what's coming off the street and the bank inside the client's property as well allowing that water to drain to the bottom of the drain, which is underground, and exit freely. So you don't end up noticing that you have a saturated yard in the first place, and that water moves much faster uh, 
than it originally did just settling into the soil. So I hope that explanation helps you guys understand how a French drain works and why we pick the spaces that we do to use them. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to go to our website, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you uh, if a French drain is suitable for your, your property and your needs. Uh, so with that, I'm going to leave you guys to it and we'll see you in the next one.